Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video today. And in today's video, I want to describe situations that would require the if error function. So as you can see here, I have a uh, sort of a template spreadsheet where every week we want to know how many tickets were cleared by different technical support representatives. Pretty straightforward. Um, and every week, of course, it, it be starts off with zeros, right? There are no tickets that anybody has cleared. This is previous to anybody getting started on their work. Now, if I want to set this up for success, I could very easily go over to cell K3 over here and use the sum function, right? I could say, yeah, in the future, uh, Patil and Gao and Shay and Han, they will all be adding numbers to their cleared tickets. And so the total cleared will add up later if I have the sum function in there already. So I can go to uh, the formulas tab up here at the top of the screen go to my math and trig and pick sum and then here for the number values I can go ahead and use from cell B4 all the way across and all the way down to cell H14 and of course that is 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0 easy stuff but the problem is that something like the average function uses division, right? Um, we take the total number of clears and then we divide it by the number of days that we're talking about. But in this instance, because none of the days have been filled in, that means that we're going to divide by zero. And if you guys haven't seen any of the memes about dividing by zero, dividing by zero is bad. It's going to break things. Let's see it in action. I'll go here to formulas. I'll go here to the more functions drop down menu, go to statistical and pick average and do the exact same thing I did previously, which is to highlight from cell B4 down and across to cell H14. And the problem here, you see it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, but it doesn't tell me that the average is going to be 0 because none of these things are filled in. Therefore, it's actually going to, by clicking OK here, give me this division by zero error. Now there are situations like this one all over Microsoft Excel where when you put in a function and you know it's not going to work, it's going to return for you an error message. It's going to look a little bit ugly. But if you know that it's not going to work, then it makes a lot of sense to set this up so that your boss never sees this breaking thing because your boss will assume that you've done something poorly in your spreadsheet. So instead, watch how easy this part is. I'm going to go back to cell K4, take out that average function that gave me the division by zero, and instead, under the formulas tab, I'm going to go to the logical dropdown menu. And there's a function in here called if error the fourth function down. I choose if error from that drop down menu and it says, okay, you have two options here. The first option is you tell me what you want. What value do you actually want to see? And the second one is, okay, well, if that doesn't work, tell me what to do instead. So the thing I want is really the average function. So it's in this situation where I'm going to nest the average function inside the if error function. So I'll type in A V E R A G E open parentheses and simply highlight from B4 down and across to H14, close the parentheses. Now that unfortunately I know is going to give me a division by zero error, but I want it to say, if that's the case, just output the number zero instead. And you can see there, it says, oh sure, I, I'm going to do that actually right now because your average of B4 through H14 is going to be an error. So I click OK and I can see that now the average daily clears and the total cleared are both zero. And as soon as I start typing in that Patil cleared three tickets that day and Gao cleared five and Shea cleared four and Han cleared three and Trong cleared two and Cusado cleared three, I can see that the total cleared continues to add up and that the average daily clears continues to give me an average 
instead of giving me that zero. So nesting the average function inside of if error is a clean way of setting up a template for yourself first and making sure that nobody thinks there's anything wrong with that template.